Hi everyone and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we're making a really cool cell phone projector that projects the different moon phases. So your kids can do this as a space activity and a STEM activity. First we're going to gather up our supplies. There's a full list available on the site of everything that we used here. And we're going to start by preparing our materials to build our moon phase projector. Take a tube and cut it to 100 millimeters. And then using our templates, which are available for free, you're going to cut out the different pieces you see here. Next, we're going to prepare. This is if you're using a cell phone. And this is going to be our base. And you'll see we're using double fluted cardboard so it's nice and stable, as we will have a spinner that it needs to be able to hold up. Now we've got our pieces, we're going to use a glue gun and glue them together. And this is going to be our stand that's going to hold everything. We always love using lots of recycled materials in our projects and we love doing space activities around here. There we go. Now we're going to help, or now we're going to start making the spinner. So we're going to take that tube and just glue an end on there. And what we did was we painted them black and then we used a toothbrush and splattered it with white and yellow so it gave a space galaxy theme. Now this is our spinner image. This is what's going to project our different moon phases and it is labeled. You're going to take an X-Acto knife and we want to cut out all the black parts of the moon. So these are all the dark sides of the moon at the different phases. This is a great practice for your kids. They are labeled so they can start learning the names of the different moon faces. Just make sure it's always done with adult supervision though, as the X-Acto knife is very sharp. Now we're going to glue that onto the end of our spinner. There we go. And we're going to make a little hole in the middle. Since it's a spinner, we're using a nut and bolt and washer to get our spinning action so that it'll freely turn and spin at the end. Now we've done that, we're going to take our um, guide. This is the part that's going to block the light from going through the phases of the moon that we don't want to see as we're spinning. So we're just taking some cardboard that we've painted black and we're gluing on our little printed image. There we go. And you'll see it's got that nice little slit there that's only going to show one moon phase at a time. And just like we did before with the moon phase part, we're going to make a little hole that's going to fit our nut. There we go. Or sorry, our bolt. So now we're just going to take that skewer. This is going to be our little handle that's going to allow us to easily turn our spinner. So take a little bit of glue. You don't want to push it all the way through so it blocks that hole. So it's only going in a little bit and we're just going to glue it into place. And now we're just going to take some cutters and we're going to trim it so it's not too long. And you can paint it black, sand the end so it's nice and smooth, and just make it look nice. There we go, put a washer there. And then there's our nut, and we're going to put the bolt through both pieces. And you want that bolt to be quite snug. And now we're just going to use some needle nose pliers, and we're going to put that nut in place. Now, putting that on there, you use a screwdriver on the other side, is a little tricky. Um, it is definitely something your kids can do themselves. If they have little hands, they might even be able to get their hands in there and not have to use the needle nose pliers. And there we go. You can see how it spins when we move that handle around. Now we're just going to put together the base that's going to hold our cell phone. We've just got some plastic caps, um, just from bottle caps. It's all recycled materials. And we're putting those through. And then we're just going to add some little feet. These feet are going to help to keep that roll stable while it's holding the cell phone and we made sure we put them through the bottle cap sides and it might need an adult it takes a little bit of finger strength to do that and there we go there's our cell phone holder and then this is a ring it's available again in the template if you want to use a small flashlight instead of a cell phone so you have the choice either flashlight or cell phone for this project now we're going to demonstrate it using the cell phone so put the spinner on the top of our stand. See how it spins there perfectly, showing each moon phase. Turn on the flashlight on your cell phone and then check out all the different moon phases. This is a great STEM project for your space activities. 
And if you want to find more, visit steampoweredfamily.com for this and many more STEM activities. Have a great one. Bye.